Even in the infancy of our nation, there was a palpable fear of an unchecked chief executive. So nearly 230 years ago, when the framers gathered in Philadelphia to sign the Constitution, they found it necessary to include Article 2, Section 4, impeachment, a mechanism to remove a president for treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors, fearing a return to a British monarchy style of government. The framers of the Constitution wanted to make sure that the president would not grow into a king or a dictator. They wanted to make sure that there was something in the Constitution that would allow Congress to keep that from happening. Impeachment a measure so severe, it has only happened two times before in American history. Andrew Johnson was impeached in the House, but later acquitted by a single vote in the Senate for trying to remove his Secretary of War without congressional approval. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. The 37th president, Richard Nixon, resigned before he could be impeached, facing near certain removal from office, confronted with three charges stemming from the break-in at DNC headquarters at the Watergate. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. Bill Clinton was impeached for lying to a grand jury about his relationship with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. Without a two-thirds majority to remove him, President Clinton was acquitted in the Senate. The impeachment of President Trump comes at a time when Washington, and indeed our nation, is deeply polarized, a moment sure to define a turbulent era. Ultimately, the country has come out of these moments of fire and division stronger. The great question for us is will we come out of this moment of fire and division stronger or weaker? And that's going to be up to all of us. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.